Hello friends, welcome back at waytotesting.com. So today we will discuss a very important topic, Auto IT tool. So basically, this is the tool that we use. It is open source tool that we will use to automate our window-based applications. So while working on the Selenium, suppose that you are get sometimes we get some windows like this one. If you click on the choose button, this a window-based pop-up will come. So in Selenium, due to limitation. We are not able to handle it so there is one option that auto it tool we can use so we can handle this kind of situation so i have designed a web page very simple and here we will use auto it to select the windows based pop-up files so now uh, first step uh, will be the how to download and install then we will discuss about different components then the basic command which are very easy in auto it just a simple format commands are there and then we will simply integrate with our selenium and we will execute it so first let's uh, uh, also we i have given a very detailed explanation that how to download and install auto it in your machine you can i will give this link in this video description and let me explain you that how to download it and how to install it so just in the google just type download auto it this link will appear if you click on this one this page will get open so here you will get an option download auto it as soon as you will click on it your file will be downloaded i have already downloaded so here you will get a setup file so here uh, you need to extract it okay then you will get the setup as, a, as other software just you need to click on it and you need to just click next next button to install it okay so this first window will come just click on the next button this is a license agreement just select yes and here you need to select this one use native if my operating system is 64 bit so i will select this one then we will select edit the script not run the script because we will be writing our script and also the extension of the files of auto it will be dot au3 please remember this one now coming to let at the default let it with c program and it will take couple of seconds so in the meantime this is my website and you will get a very good kind of study material absolutely free like java tutorial and deep tutorial as well and very good interview questions as well selenium tutorial as well all kinds of selenium tutorial all kinds of javascript operations and tool tip test and that you can use in your practical life as well apm maven cucumber etc so it will take a couple of seconds to get installed after install you will see that we will get some components like uh, uh, editor how to read that window property these all things so this setup has been completed that you can see very easy uh, now we will get in help us or study tab window so auto it help just close it not required right now so if you go to your start my start menu here if you stand this one you will see a lot, lot of options so this is these are the components of auto it first this is script editor so what it will do as we have eclipse editor intelligent editor so we have this one is the editor where we will write our script okay now coming to the second thing so this is a script runner where we will run our the saved description whatever script we have written in the editor and have saved it with dot au3 extension we will run from here and the main th third component is this one info what it will do, give you it will give you the info about uh, suppose that there is a notepad i want to like in the selenium we will inspect the element and we will find the id class so that we can use our entire dot find element the same way uh, auto it provide you this window that you can get suppose that there is a finder tool just click on this one and hover over it so you will get that the title of it is uh, untitled notepad so you will get the title you will get the class you will get the instance that you can use in your script so this is the basic thing that how to download how to install and how to uh, read the windows property now we will learn how to uh, write small scripts to open the notepad perform some operation save it and close it 